WCMP, Andy Beckstrom on hand here in Bethel, East Bethel. The East Bethel Ice Arena as we get set for tonight's matchup between the Northern Tier Stars and the Sartell Sock Rapids Rice Storm and Sabres here in girls hockey tonight. Glad you could join us out here on the broadcast as we get set for tonight's matchup. Just about set out at center here at Bethel. This will be a pre-recorded broadcast that will play later on today. Apologize for the technical difficulties. We are all set to go, just about set to go, I should say, here as Northern Tier trying to get last little bit in their huddle before getting set out at center. Looks like we're about ready to go here on tonight's game. Coming in tonight, Northern Tier is 10 and seven on the year. They are five and two in conference play. They won three of their last five. They started five straight and then lost five of seven. Sartell, Sock Rapids is four, 10 and two. 2-5-2 two, two on the year, starting 4-2-1, and one, but they've lost 9 of 10 coming into tonight's matchup. Puck back out at center. Play down into the northern tier zone. They'll head back after it over on the far side of the ice from where we're located here, kind of center ice. Turnaround shot comes right in. Save is going to be made by Megan Gibb. Megan Gibb, the junior netminder, starting most all of the games for this northern tier squad. A couple years ago, played with the boys squad in Cambridge A. Sandy due to the fact that there was not a girl squad for her to participate with. I was actually fortunate enough to be able to call one of those games and call that game. It was definitely a, a fun night to be able to have something like that happen in our local area. Puck in the corner on the near side. Sartell able to hold the zone as it's sent back underneath in the corner. Pinned up against the boards on this near side. Back out to the neutral zone to go. Grady, correction, that's going to be Kurkowski. Got it back out through center, but it's going to be sent right back in. That shot comes in. Glove save made and held on to by Megan Gidd. Still no score here. Just underway here in East Bethel. 15-37 to play. Home of the Saints. St. Francis fighting Saints here in East Bethel. As the Northern Tier Stars are made up of St. Francis, North Branch, and Cambridge Asani for this girl squad. Puck back behind. It'll be picked up by Northern Tier. Played around over to the far side. Laro trying to be able to get it out of the zone. Kicked ahead back through center. And it'll come out. Pushed ahead by Rudneck. It'll be picked up by Laro. Works her way into the zone on the far side of the ice. <clears throat> Laro in on the right wing. Centers it out in front, or tried to at least. It got knocked away from her back behind. She did have... Madison Neubauer on the doorstep. Near side kept in by Grant. Grant backhands it along the boards on this near side, back behind. And chasing after that one will be Tia Vogt. Vogt back out to center. Picked up there by Northern Tier, trying to play it along on this near side, right up against the boards in front of us. Back into the Northern Tier zone it'll go. Picked up there and brought back now by Johnson. Erica Johnson circles back into her own area and works her way back with Lindemeyer. Back through center, it'll come into the northern tier zone. Knocked down on the far side. Lamell kept that one in the zone momentarily, but now it's going to be taken away and a two-on-two -two going the other direction for northern tier. Shot knocked down by the defense and picked up by Vandenberg. Vandenberg quickly back ahead on now on the left wing. Brought in by Lamell, fires a shot. Save made, knocked to the corner on the far side. Northern Tier trying to get it back to the blue line, able to get it out of the zone. Then it'll head back into the Storm and Sabres zone. Storm and Sabres, part Storm, part Sabres, Sock Rapids and Sartell. Kind of a combination of the two schools. Puck flipped back behind Gibb. Knocked down over there by Seibel. Seibel try to get it out of the zone. Over to the near side and working ahead on the near side is going to be Kozak. Back to center, it's knocked away from her by Cromwell. Comes back for Northern Tier. 
Seibel works his way through center. Seibel crosses his way into the zone, dumps it in, and then chases in after it. She'll be joined there by Lundin for the Storm and Sabres. Lindell, or Seibel rather, gets it back to the point, winding up for a shot as Bussy. Knocked to the corner of the far side. Picked up there by Marissa Miller. Well, tries to play it back to the point. It gets chipped out of the zone. It'll come all the way back through to center. Kurkowski, who stepped onto the ice, picks it up, fires that shot, and a save made and held onto by Morgan Dorn. We get our first draw in the Sabre zone. 13.08 to play, period number one. WCMP online. And a tape delay broadcast. This game started about. 1.15 here from East Bethel in the afternoon. Beautiful day here in the great state. Just about 60 as I was arriving here. Sarabia's so getting way into the zone, trying to be able to chip away at getting a shot in on the netminder Gibb, but not able to get anything by her. Defense is able to get it back out to the neutral zone. Miller's going to work it back the other direction. That shot comes through, and it's going to be held on to by Dorn. Get a draw in the offensive zone for the Stars. Northern Tier Stars. Back back along on the far side, and it dribbles its way towards the net. Spitzer took a shot, but didn't have a lot on it. It dribbled its way towards the net and smothered by Dorn. Face off, far side left of Dorn. Picked up and wrapped around now by Ingrid. Bucci Adjurama able to get it back out through the neutral zone and down into the star's end of the ice. They'll pick it up from there and work their way back along the far side. Knocked down by Ryder at center, sends it back into the star's end. Lead pass ahead for Spitzer. Spitzer lays it ahead on the near side now for Lero. Lero can't handle it. It'll be picked up now by the Sabres and played back in on the left wing. And it comes now for Herdina. Herdina lost it. Set back out through center. Over to the near side now as the Stars get it back out through center. Bossy over to the left wing now for Giving. Giving works her way into the zone. Puck back behind. Sabres trying to dig it out from there. Centering attempt by Alero is deflected to the corner. Stars had an opportunity and just couldn't quite get it out onto the doorstep. Sabres did a good job being able to knock that away. Puck back to the point. Seibel stepped up on it. Able to hold his own. Plays it back down on the far side. Herdina is going to chase after it. Herdina trying to be able to get past a pair of stars. Unable to do so. Giving comes away with it back into the corner. Back to the point and it hops the stick of Bussy. And it'll come back for Seibel in her own end. Seibel long lead pass over to the near side. And Neubauer had it but it just came off her stick. Just couldn't quite connect on that one. That'll be an icing on Northern Tier. We'll head back into the Northern Tier defensive zone for a faceoff. 11 7 to play here in this hockey game. Faceoff far side right of Gibb. Faceoff. Puck along this near side up against the boards. Played back behind. Spinning away from traffic is going to be Rudnick trying to be able to get it out of the zone. Works her way back over to the far side. Now back out through the middle of the ice, but Jansen right there to be able to pick it up and sends it right back in deep. Never came out of the zone. Able to be held in once again by Johnson. Johnson sends that one back around the boards over to the far side. Stepping up is going to be Wenzel. Now Northern Tier able to get it back out through center. Kozak works her way in on the near side. Fires that shot in just wide of the net on the far side. Up against the boards. Played back underneath by Hari. Sartell back behind. Picks it up there. Wenzel plays it over to the far side and played along the left wing. Lindmeyer able to get it ahead. It's going to be sent in deep by Lamo. Northern Tier picks it up in their own zone, works their way back out through center. Kurkowski brought it into the zone, lost it though. Pakala is able to get it back out through center. Puck back out at center. Grant loses the puck. It's going to be brought back offensively now by Career. And back behind it'll go. 
Got through the slot area, but couldn't carry the puck all the way through to be able to get any type of shot away. Puck over to the far side. Picked up there by Miller. Miller able to get it back out through center. Picked up there by Wineland. Wineland dumps that puck in deep. Knocked down by Netminder Gibb. Lead pass over to the near side and coming through center is going to be Spitzer. Spitzer unable to control it all the way through. Kurkowski will bring it in along the far side. Lays it all the way over to the near side now for Spitzer. Spitzer plays it back underneath. Wrapped around the boards now by Lundin for the Storm. Kept in by Seibel on that far side and now it's going to be picked up by the Storm and brought back out through center. Working all the way back through is going to be Cromwell. Works her way into the offensive zone. Puck along this near side is going to be sent back underneath. Northern Tier able to get it back out through center. It's really brought back by Giving. Works her way into the offensive zone. Tried to put it over on the near side for Lero, but couldn't quite connect on that one. Puck will come all the way back into the Northern Tier zone. Over to the boards on the near side. Northern Tier able to get it back out through center. It'll be picked up there by Lero. Works her way in on the left wing. Loses the puck down, taken away by Sabart. Puck back on the far side, kept in by Parnell. Picked up though and brought back now by Ryder for Sock Rapids, Sartell Sock Rapids. Puck along the near side, it's gonna be sent in by Spaniak. Puck back behind. Northern Tier works their puck over to the near side. It gets it back out to the neutral zone, but it's knocked there by Cromwell and sent back into the Northern Tier zone. Puck back through center on this near side. Parnell's going to send that one around the boards back behind. Knocked down by the netminder, Dorn. Puck back to the point, and nobody there for Northern Tier. Stepping up, Rudnick. Got there, but was just a little bit late. Face off back out at center. Worked back into the Sock Rapids zone. They played it back themselves to be able to get possession of it. Now brought back by Vandenberg on this near side. Got it into the zone. Now pinned up against the boards in the corner. Puck back behind, chasing after it. Wenzel trying to get something set up. Spins away from one check. Puck knocked away from her momentarily. Gets it back, plays it across now for Lamel. Tried to send her out in front. Puck still loose. I think we had a whistle though. They were still banging away at it, but the whistle had been blown. It made that initial save and the official thought that it was covered. So face up on the near side, come back to the point. Be kept in by Lundin, plays it along the right wing, down into the corner. Up against the boards in the corner, trying to be able to get it back out of the zone, unable to do so. He had a whistle and a fresh draw in the zone. Quick shot off the draw, save made, rebound. Comes right back out to Gibb and she's able to hold on. Puck over to the near side, it's gonna be kept in along the boards for Wineland, off the draw. Picked up by Seibel, able to get it back to the blue line. Miller gets it out of the zone for Northern Tier. Back it'll come for Seibel. Seibel has to gather it up and bring it into the offensive zone on the right wing. Dumps that in deep all the way over to the near side. Now Krakowski steps up on it. Sartell will come away with it though. Over to the far side now for Career. Back underneath as Northern Tier able to hold the zone. Took that puck away and Oliver on the far side. Now it's gonna come away with Career. Works her way into the zone. Nice defensive play, knocking it away. It's Bussy. Long lead pass over to the near side, just out of the reach of Spitzer. Spitzer trying to track it down, tapped ahead by Giving. Picked up and brought back now by Sartell. Back through center is going to be Bouchard Jarama. 
Dumps that puck in and then peels off for a change. Back after it is going to be Bussy. who will work her way back through center, ahead for Spitzer. Lays that one ahead, now for Giving. Crosses into the offensive zone, shot knocked to the corner by Dorn. Puck back along the blue line, along that far side. Can be kept in, at least momentarily, by Neubauer. Over the near side, it comes through now with Lundin. Lundin for Sartell, works her way into the zone. Lost the puck, puck tipped back to the blue line. And it's going to be out, back out to the neutral zone. Johnson had it knocked away from her and it picked up by Neubauer. Backhanded it back into the Sartell zone. Tipped ahead along the far side. Seibel will pick it up, tried to play it ahead. But it's going to be taken away and brought back by Vandenberg. Vandenberg in the offensive zone, trying to be able to get a shot away. Couldn't get lined up for it. Played it back over to the near side for Johnson. Back over now for the far side for Lommel. Almost taken away on the run by Hari, who stepped onto the ice and intercepted that pass. Puck wrapped over to the near side. Johnson steps up on it, plays it deep into the zone. It'll wrap around the boards, back behind. Seibel will pick it up, back behind, plays it over to the near side, trying to get it ahead for Kozak, just out of her reach. Kozak rushing up along this near side, trying to keep it moving forward. Johnson knocked it away from her. Puck back out through center. Now it's going to be almost picked up on the run. It was going to be potentially a breakaway opportunity for Lamel. Back it'll come. Blocker save made on the shot by Wenzel. Puck still loose. Goes over to the corner on the near side. Both teams chase after it, trying to pin it up against the boards. 4.05 to play here, period number one. Still no score between Northern Tier and Sartell. Rapidly moving first period. Not much to be able to wrap up at the moment during the first intermission break. And back through center, it'll go. Over to the near side and wrapped around the boards by Parnell. Puck back behind. Picking it up there is going to be Miller. Miller flips it back out to the high point. Set there for Rudnick, and Rudnick had it knocked away from her. Almost an opportunity again for Lamel. She's had a couple of opportunities. Now brought back in by Northern Tier. Bouncing puck goes by the net. Minder over to the far side into the corner. Be dug out there by Kurkowski. Now taken away by Sabart. Back behind Miller. Plays it over the far side. Brought back to the point, kept in. Rudnick sends that one back behind. Sartell from their own zone, trying to be able to get something set up. Flip back out through to center. And it'll be Career that'll work her way back onto the near side and it offsides. At the blue line, move the faceoff back out to center. 2.54 to go in period number one. Still no score between Sartell and Northern Tier. Puck one back for Northern Tier deep into their own zone. They'll chase after it there. Over to the far side, working it back is going to be Laro. Laro sends it ahead on the far side boards, wraps around back behind on the dasher boards. Back to the blue line, walking that line, Seibel fires a shot high, and it's going to be gloved by Dorn. Jasmine Seibel, senior co-captain for this squad, sent a slapper in deep, and Dorn able to track that one all the way through, able to hold on. Face on the far side, back it'll come Seibel. Tried to fire it over to the near side for Bussy, but a little too fast for her, unable to handle it. She'll have to work back into their own zone. Be able to track that one down. Knocked away from her now by Wyland. Back behind, centering feed came out in front just past Bushia Jarama. Back for Johnson, now the puck out in front. Sartell jamming away at it, and it's knocked away by the northern tier. It'll come back out to center, and Mubauer will work her way back through the neutral zone. Try to play that one ahead. Too far for Lero. It'll be an icing call. Go all the way back into the northern tier zone. 2.03 to play, period number one. Draw one back. Quick shot off the draw. With one back to Ryder. And Ryder, quick chop at it. Not really a slap shot, not really a wrister, kind of a, just a chop shot, but able to put it on goal. And Gibb 
Able to stop it and make the save. Puck back behind. Centering feed comes partway through. Harry able to knock that one down and gets it back out through center. Puck in now on the right wing. Heads back down underneath. Over to the far side. Be picked up there and brought back now by Herdina. Herdina got it back it's through in the neutral zone, but it's taken away by Northern Tier. Backhanded in by Kozak. Works it over to the near side into the corner. Chasing after it's going to be Hari. Joined there by Parnell. Parnell's going to dig that one out. Parnell fires that one out in front and it went through the crease, but there's nobody there wearing a white sweater. Puck will go back behind. Herdina plays it along the boards over to the near side. Stepping up on that one. Zapaniak trying to come away with it. Play back over to the far side now for Cromwell. Back out to the neutral zone in northern tier. Work back after it. So we approach the one minute remaining point of the first period. Johnson will work her way through center. Backhands it along the near side. And deep into the zone. Gibb paddles that one back behind. It came off the boards. It's going to dribble its way out front. But smart play. Keep the puck behind her. Vandenberg tried to work her way into the slot. Had it knocked away from her. Lamel on the far side. Had it knocked away. Picked up by Rudnick. Northern Tier able to get it back to the blue line. But not out of the zone. Over to the near side now, Wenzel sets up for a shot. A lot of traffic out in front. That shot goes wide over the far side. It's going to be run back to the neutral zone by Vandenberg. Johnson will work her way in on the right wing. Plays that one in deep. Northern Tier back after it to be able to pick that one up. Kishish along the far side boards. Gets it back out to the neutral zone as it just crosses the line. Back out to the neutral zone now picked up. By Miller. Miller in on the right wing. Fires that shot. Save made. Puck still loose. Northern Tier tried to crash in after it, but smothered by Dorn. Eventually, not necessarily right away. Left it out there for a moment, but. Able to make the save. Puck on that far side. Down to three seconds. Two, one, and that'll be the end of period number one. One period in the books between Northern Tier and the. Sartell, Sock Rapid Storm, no score after one period of play. We'll be back on WCMP. Live in the John Herges Cambridge Motor Studios, this is WCMP. The following is a production of WCMP Sports. This is a story we all share of a place rooted in tradition and rich with opportunity of people driven by compassion and vision. At Essentia Health, we're proud to play our role in this story because we know that this place, these people, are like nowhere else. Visit Essentia Health in Hinkley, Sandstone, or our new location in Moose Lake for all your care needs. Schedule an appointment at EssentiaHealth.org today. Daggett's Fresh Foods in Hinkley providing you with the highest quality food for your family. This week at Daggett's, get Hormel all-natural pork butts for $1.59 per pound. Honey crisp apples are just $1.79 per pound. Daggett's own fresh baked Italian bread is two for $3 and best choice mac and cheese is three for a dollar. Deals are good this week only while supplies last. So hurry into your local grocery store, Daggett's Fresh Foods in Hinkley. The new year is here. It's the perfect time to trade out the old and bring in the new. That's the new furnace to keep you cozy warm for the rest of winter and for years to come. Aquarius Home Services, your local heating expert, is here to help with a fantastic New Year special. How does a new furnace for as low as $45 per month sell? That's right, as little as $45 per month. To hey, I'm Chad Greenway. When I was playing, I loved chasing down running backs. Well, you shouldn't have to chase your bank around when you're buying a home. Franz and Bank and Trust Mortgage Consultants will be with you stride for stride, like a linebacker on a running back, from pre-approval to closing and beyond. Let Franz and Bank guide you through the mortgage process. Learn more at franzandbank.com slash get Chad there. Greenway here. Franz mortgage rates haven't been this low since 2017. Real people, real Time to talk to your local Franz and Bank about buying your first home, a cabin, or an investment property, building your dream home, refinancing to lower your mortgage payment, or for a home improvement project. Franz and Bank will be with you every step of the way. 
Find your local Franz and Bank mortgage expert today at franzandbank.com. And Health Fairview brings world class care to the North Branch. You'll have access to the latest groundbreaking research discoveries combined with convenient care close to home. In North Branch, their dedicated care team specializes in family medicine, diabetes education, and physical therapy. Most of the staff and providers from the Pine City Clinic are now available in North Branch. To schedule an appointment, call 1 855 Fairview. Minnesota. It's home. Hot summers at the lake, beautiful falls, snowy winters and rainy springs, we experience it all. Make sure you're ready to handle whatever this state throws at you with help from Minnesota Equipment in Isani. Minnesota Equipment carries brands you love, like John Deere, Steel, Toro, Gravely Zero Turn Mowers, and Aaron Snowblowers. Their helpful staff can not only get you the equipment you need, but can help you maintain it so it will last. Plus, they carry a full line of farm equipment. Minnesota Equipment in Isani, online at minnesotaequipment.com. Are you interested in a technical degree that can quickly help you land your dream career? Or maybe you've always dreamed of going to a four-year college, but you'd like to start close to home. Either way, Pine Technical and Community College has you covered. PTCC offers more than 50 degrees in hot fields like healthcare information technology, advanced manufacturing, and business. PTCC is now accepting applications. Financial aid may be available. Online at pine.edu. Starting out or starting over, find your future at Pine Technical and Community College. If you've been injured in an auto accident or have sustained other personal injury, you don't have to leave town to get good representation. Spear and Swanson Attorneys at Law in Pine City are experienced and will work on your case with no fee until they get you money. They also handle divorce and custody cases, criminal defense, including DWI and other legal matters. Spear and Swanson is your local law firm that cares about you. So if you need legal representation or advice, call 320-629-7586. Spear and Swanson, Attorneys at Law in Pine City. It takes a team effort to ensure a successful future. That's why Town & Country Insurance and Hinkley, Finlayson & Mora, your local Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, and Grinnell Mutual are celebrating the accomplishments of our student-athletes across every sport. We recognize the dedication it takes to work and play hard. Your display of teamwork makes it easy to trust in tomorrow. Wellia trust Health in tomorrow offers sports medicine services at all our campuses in Mora, Pine City, and Hinkley. Dr. Mullen and his team treat a full range of sports injuries for all athletes at any level of competition. If you are injured, we want to help you return to the game as quickly and as safely as possible, providing the sports medicine care you need when you need it to help you live life well with Wellia Health. Call 320-679-1313. This is a story we all share of a place rooted in tradition and rich with opportunity, a people driven by compassion and vision. At Essentia Health, we're proud to play our role in this story because we know that this place, these people are like nowhere else. Visit Essentia Health in Hinkley, Sandstone, or our new location in Moose Lake for all your care needs. Schedule an appointment at EssentiaHealth.org today. Daggett's Fresh Foods in Hinkley, providing you with the highest quality food for your family. This week at Daggett's, get Hormel all-natural pork butts for $1.59 per pound. Honey crisp apples are just $1.79 per pound. Daggett's own fresh baked Italian bread is two for $3, and best choice mac and cheese is three for a dollar. Deals are good this week only while supplies last. So hurry into your local grocery store, Daggett's Fresh Foods in Hinkley. The new year is here. It's the perfect time to trade out the old and bring in the new. That's the new furnace to keep you cozy warm for the rest of winter and for years to come. Aquarius Home Services, your local heating expert, is here to help with a fantastic New Year special. How does a new furnace for as low as $45 per month sound? That's right, as little as $45 per month. Hey, I'm Chad Greenway. When I was playing, I loved chasing down running backs. But you shouldn't have to chase your bank around when you're buying a home. Franz and Bank and Trust Mortgage Consultants will be with you stride for stride, like a linebacker on a running back, from pre-approval to closing and beyond. Let Franz and Bank guide you through the mortgage process. Learn more at franzandbank.com slash get Chad Greenway here. Franz mortgage and rates and haven't Trust. been this low since 2017. Real people, real Time to talk to your local Franz and Bank about buying your first home, a cabin, or an investment property, building your dream home, refinancing to lower your mortgage payment, or for a home improvement project. Franz and Bank will be with you every step of the way. 
Find your local Franz and Bank mortgage expert today at franzandbank.com. And Health Therapy brings there. world class Tell care to North Branch. You. You'll have Franz access to the latest groundbreaking research discoveries combined with convenient care close to home. In North Branch, their dedicated care team specializes in family medicine, diabetes education, and physical therapy. Most of the staff and providers from the Pine City Clinic are now available in North Branch. To schedule an appointment, call 1 855 Fairview. Minnesota. Or use it's my home. Card. Hot Urgent summers at the lake, beautiful Monday falls, snowy weather winters, and rainy springs, we experience it all. Make sure you're ready to handle whatever this state throws at you with help from Minnesota Equipment in Isani. Minnesota Equipment carries brands you love, like John Deere, Steel, Toro, Gravely Zero Turn Mowers, and Aaron Snowblowers. Their helpful staff can not only get you the equipment you need, but can help you maintain it so it will last. Plus, they carry a full line of farm equipment. Minnesota Equipment in Isani, online at minnesotaequipment.com. Are you interested in a technical degree that can quickly help you land your dream career? Or maybe you've always dreamed of going to a four-year college, but you'd like to start close to home. Either way, Pine Technical and Community College has you covered. PTCC offers more than 50 degrees in hot fields like healthcare information technology, advanced manufacturing, and business. PTCC is now accepting applications. Financial aid may be available. Online at pine.edu. Starting out or starting over, find your future at Pine Technical and Community College. If you've been injured in an auto accident or have sustained other personal injury, you don't have to leave town to get good representation. Spear and Swanson Attorneys at Law in Pine City are experienced and will work on your case with no fee until they get you money. They also handle divorce and custody cases, criminal defense, including DWI and other legal matters. Spear and Swanson is your local law firm that cares about you. So if you need legal representation or advice, call 320-629-7586. Spear and Swanson, Attorneys at Law in Pine City. It takes a team effort to ensure a successful future. That's why Town & Country Insurance and Hinkley, Finlayson & Mora, your local Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, and Grinnell Mutual are celebrating the accomplishments of our student-athletes across every sport. We recognize the dedication it takes to work and play hard. Your display of teamwork makes it easy to trust in tomorrow. Wellia trust Health in tomorrow offers sports medicine services at all our campuses re-injured. in Mora, Pine City, and Hinkley. Dr. Mullen and his team treat a full range of sports injuries for all athletes at any level of competition. If you are injured, we want to help you return to the game as quickly and as safely as possible, providing the sports medicine care you need when you need it to help you live life well with Wellia Health. Call 320-679-1313. This is a story we all share of a place rooted in tradition and rich with opportunity, a people driven by compassion and vision. At Essentia Health, we're proud to play our role in this story because we know that this place, these people are like nowhere else. Visit Essentia Health in Hinkley, Sandstone, or our new location in Moose Lake for all your care needs. Schedule an appointment at EssentiaHealth.org today. Daggett's Fresh Foods in Hinkley, providing you with the highest quality food for your family. This week at Daggett's, get Hormel all-natural pork butts for $1.59 per pound. Honey crisp apples are just $1.79 per pound. Daggett's own fresh baked Italian bread is two for $3, and best choice mac and cheese is three for a dollar. Deals are good this week only while supplies last. So hurry into your local grocery store, Daggett's Fresh Foods in Hinkley. The new year is here. It's the perfect time to trade out the old and bring in the new. That's the new furnace to keep you cozy warm for the rest of winter and for years to come. Aquarius Home Services, your local heating expert, is here to help with a fantastic New Year special. How does a new furnace for as low as $45 per month sell? That's right, as little as $45 per month. Hey, I'm Chad Greenway. When I was playing, I loved chasing down running backs. But you shouldn't have to chase your bank around when you're buying a home. Franz and Bank and Trust Mortgage Consultants will be with you stride for stride, like a linebacker on a running back, from pre-approval to closing and beyond. Let Franz and Bank guide you through the mortgage process. Learn more at franzandbank.com slash get Chad Greenway here. Franz mortgage and rates and haven't Trust. been this low since 2017. Real people, real Time to talk to your local Franz and Bank about buying your first home, a cabin, or an investment property, building your dream home, refinancing to lower your mortgage payment, or for a home improvement project. Franz and Bank will be with you every step of the way. 
Find your local Franz and Bank mortgage expert today at franzandbank.com. M Health Fairview brings Tell world them class care to North Branch. Franz and You'll Bank. have access to the latest groundbreaking research discoveries combined with convenient care close to home. In North Branch, their dedicated care team specializes in family medicine, diabetes education, and physical therapy. Most of the staff and providers from the Pine City Clinic are now available in North Branch. To schedule an appointment, call one 855 fairview Minnesota, it's home. Hot Urgent summers at the lake, beautiful falls, snowy winters, and rainy springs, we experience it all. Make sure you're ready to handle whatever this state throws at you with help from Minnesota Equipment in Isani. Minnesota Equipment carries brands you love, like John Deere, Steel, Toro, Gravely Zero Turn Mowers, and Aaron Snowblowers. Their helpful staff can not only get you the equipment you need, but can help you maintain it so it will last. Plus, they carry a full line of farm equipment. Minnesota Equipment in Isani, online at minnesotaequipment.com. Are you interested in a technical degree that can quickly help you land your dream career? Or maybe you've always dreamed of going to a four-year college, but you'd like to start close to home. Either way, Pine Technical and Community College has you covered. PTCC offers more than 50 degrees in hot fields like healthcare information technology, advanced manufacturing, and business. PTCC is now accepting applications. Financial aid may be available. Online at pine.edu. Starting out or starting over, find your future at Pine Technical and Community College. East Bethel, as we get set for the second period of play between the Northern Tier Stars and the Sock Rapids Sartell Storm and Sabres. Shots on goal after one period of play, 12 to nine in favor of the Storm and Sabres. Put a few extra shots in on net against Megan Gibb. Gibb and Dorn both standing tall though on their respective sides as it is no score after one period of play as both teams make their way back out onto the ice as we move our way into the second period of action the long period if you will as the long change will be in effect half of your bench is basically in your offensive zone but and that's the good news if you have the offense if you have an offensive possession but the bad news comes in on the flip side if there ends up being any type of penalty or power play, you get stuck in your defensive zone, potentially for a very extended shift on the long change. On top of the fact that there's a possibility that you were to step on and play the puck, you could actually end up being off sides, depending on where you step on. Right along those blue lines. NHL sheets, of course, just a little bit longer, especially in that neutral zone area. Is both benches in the neutral zone, but here for high school, all the arenas set for this size. 17 minutes up on the clock, both netminders back in their respective cages, ready to get set for this second period of play. Megan Gibb versus Morgan Dorn. Your netminder matchup. Parnell to take the draw against Wenzel. Puck will head back momentarily towards the Sabre zone, but they pick it up and fight it down the other way. Sent in deep by Lamel. Puck along this near side, back to the point will come. Shot paddled to the corner by Gibb. Lundin put that one in. But glances off the stick up into the netting back behind. Puck sticking to the ice a little bit. Not sure if they get that, it, whether it hit uh, some wet parts of the ice that hadn't froze yet, or if it were to have been maybe a warm puck. You see, usually they'll play with a puck that's been in a cooler full of ice, or a cooler full of slush, back behind the scores table just to make sure that the puck continues to slide well, otherwise a warm puck will stick to the ice. Puck on the near side, back to the point it'll go, and Parnell gets it back out to the neutral zone, but not able to get it all the way through. Knocked down and brought back by Cromwell. Fires that puck deep into the zone. 
Be picked up and brought back now by the Northern Tier Stars. Set ahead for Parnell. It'll be out of her reach. It's all the way deep into the corner on this near side. Puck is sticking against the ice as it is still pretty wet out there. Usually the puck doesn't stick real well, but the corners are definitely sticking a little bit. Shot comes right in from Seibel, rifled in on Dorn. He's able to square that one up and box that one in. A couple of games going on today. We're also going to have boys basketball, Cambridge A. Sandy playing host to Big Lake. And then later on tonight, we have a matchup where Chisago Lakes comes to call in on the Pine City girls in girls hockey. That matchup won earlier this year. Uh, Chisago Lakes won that one. 8 nothing. Now it's going to be a lead pass ahead for Wyland. Wyland works her way in. Fires it over to the weak side and a shot by Career. Just goes a little bit wide. Gibb did a good job being able to cover that ground. Back up top now Wyland. Backhands it. Trying to be able to get it across the ice into the slot for Bouchajrama. But unable to do so. Now the far side for Career. Had the puck slide off of her stick as it's Still sticking in the corners a little bit. Puck will come back now for Northern Tier. Binger works her way through, or Berger rather. Sent down the length of the ice. It'll head into the Sartell zone. Puck along this near side is, well, team's having a little bit of a hard time being able to control the puck as it's still not quite frozen in the corners. Puck is just sticking to the ice. Never seen that last this long into a period as we are now a couple minutes into the period. That puck comes through, save made, and knocked up to the corner by Dorn. Face off will be on the far side right of Dorn in the zone. Correction, I'll move it over to the near side left. Trying to get a better camera angle for you here. Puck goes back behind. It'll be picked up by the Storm. They work the puck background over to the near side. Wenzel pinned against the corner. Comes way out now into the high slot and starts it out for the Storm. Puck back through center over to the far side. Vandenberg. Big collision up against the boards. No hands up for any type of checking or any type of a hit. We play on. Puck back through center. Cromwell works her way into the zone. Cromwell fires a shot save made by Gibb. Knocked to the corner on the near side. Puck will come back to the blue line, and it'll head down the length of the ice. That'll be an icing call. They wave off icing as the puck again stuck to the ice. Long lead pass in the near side, intercepted by Seibel. Seibel steps in, fires a shot, save made. Goes back behind. Seibel will track it down into the corner on the near side, trying to be able to come away with it, but instead it'll come away with the Sartell, Sock Rapids, Storm, and Sabres. Ahead of the coming out for Vandenberg. Vandenberg plays it along the board, the, the ice on the far side, trying to get it back to the point. Lead, pad come, lead pass comes ahead, and it's going to be well too far ahead for Parnell. Be an icing call. We'll head the length of the ice back into the other end of the arena. I'm sure the officials discussing things with the rink staff to make sure that the ice is good and frozen in the corners. They've got to turn the air conditioning up a little bit here. You don't hear that a lot in, in ice arena. Buck back on the near side. Be sent back underneath by Sabart. Kicked along the far side now by Wineland, trying to be able to get it out front. And there was a centering feed trying to get it for Boosage Rama, but just couldn't quite connect. The puck heads all the way down the length of the ice into the Sartell zone. Northern Tier back after it. Away it'll come with Johnson. Johnson on that far side. It hits a chop of ice. Puck back behind Sabart. Plays along that far side. Trying to get it out through the neutral zone. Played it back. And picked up by Rudnick. Rudnick starts it ahead on the right wing, back into the zone for Northern Tier. 
Doran plays it back behind. Almost taken away by Miller. She was trying to go for a little wrap around to be able to put it in the edge, but just couldn't control it. Miller loses an edge on that one, loses the puck as well. Back behind Johnson will work her way back now for Northern Tier. Back to the blue line on this near side. And working out is going to be Busa Jarama. Ahead it comes now for Wyland. Wyland near side into the corner. Plays it back to the blue line. Stepping up, Lundin fires that shot through. And it's held on to. And now a little bit of pushing and shoving. You don't see a lot of fighting in girls hockey. But there is nearly an all-out brawl. That between Kelly Career and Allison Kishish. I don't know that I have ever seen that in all the years of hockey that I have called. I have never seen that. The officials now discussing it back out at center. We'll see what they decide to do with this. A lot of pushing and shoving as Kish is trying to defend her netminder. And on the flip side, Career trying to be able to stay in there and hold her spot and hold her ground. Both of them are going to go to the box, at least for now. And the officials are going to discuss what to do about this. 11.38 to go here in period number two. Now the scores table is going to want to talk to the officials directly. They try to just kind of use hand signals, but not something that the officials are, or the scores table is interested in having happen. So they're just going to go ahead and continue discussing it, making sure that they know what's going on. So it sounds like it's going to be a five minute and a two minute with a game misconduct, potentially. Still waiting to hear exactly the explanation from the officials. Now they're discussing it with the various coaches. Northern Tier coached by Corey Denny, assisted by Brett Westbrook and Danae Duville, as well as Mark Meister. Storm and Sabres coached by Marty Anderson. John Erickson and Alex Campa, as well as Nathan Schultz. Still trying to sort it out over at the box as we got Looks like they're going to be, have a power play for for Northern Tier. It'll move the faceoff into the northern the uh, Sock Rapids Storm Zone. Sounds like it's going to end up being a power play for Northern Tier. 
they've just got a five and then an extra two for an elbow assessed to career. And so Saibao will play it ahead. It's going to be taken away and sent down the length of the ice. Get the official response. So two minute, or two offsetting majors for head contact, and then the extra minor is for slashing. Puck will be controlled by uh, Sartell Sark Rapids and sent back the other direction. Flipped over to the near side now for Johnson. Ahead it'll go into the zone with Parnell. Parnell carries it into the zone. Gets it up on the near side. Tried to play it back to the blue line, but it didn't slide real well, and Lamel able to clear it out of the zone. And now Lamel had it jump up into her waist. Northern Tier trying to chase back after it, but Seibel tried to play it into the zone, and it ended up hitting Lamel in the waist, and that allowed Lamel almost to have a breakaway going the other direction. Instead, it'll come now back into the zone. That one dribbled its way towards the netminder. It was a weak side feed for Hari, but wasn't able to pick that one up cleanly. And now the puck will come back out to center. Going to be a foot race over to the near side. Wyland is going to get there first. She's got somebody going to the front of the net. That shot goes off of the handle of the stick, the knob of the stick of Megan Gibb. Now the puck will come back out to center. Nice move by Kurkowski, able to get it through and work into the offensive zone. Kurkowski plays it over to the far side, now set for Hari. Hari, back up top for Seibel. Seibel steps up, fires a shot, blockers he made. Big rebound set up on the weak side. Sartell, Sar Sock Rapids though, able to get that cleared down the length of the ice. Glebe will play it from back behind as Herdina chased in after it. Now we're back to the even strength with 9.20 to play in the period. Into the zone it'll go and backhanded in. Save made as that was backhanded in by Parnell. Dorn able to make the save and hold on. Face off back to the point. That's going to be sent in cross ice by Grant. Over to the near side, back to the point it'll go. Northern Terry able to hold the zones. Pinching up on that is going to be Bussy, but the puck comes past her. It'll head deep into the star zone. <coughs> Stars back behind, looking to start it out. Grant will work it way up along this near side, and it'll come away with Kurkowski. Kurkowski, two on one, coming into the zone with Spitzer, and loses that puck. And it'll come away now on the near side. Into the zone with Herdina. Herdina lost the puck as she got into the zone. Pinned up against the boards and in the area of potentially a boarding, but let that one play on. Sent ahead now by Miller into the zone. Puck back out through center. Picked up by Sartell Sock Rapids along this near side. It's going to be sent into the zone by Lamel. Back behind over to the far side. Chopped along the boards by Bussy. Can't quite get it out of the zone. Along the blue line and it sits right on the line and finally now it does come back out to center and sent ahead by Neubauer. All the way deep into the zone, that'll be icing on Northern Tier. 7.44 to go. Period number two, scheduled for three at the moment, but no score to this point between Northern Tier and Sartell Sock Rapids, Storm and Sabres. Puck along the far side and not out of the zone. It'll sit right in the circle. Now finally it's gonna be picked up and brought back by Grady. Grady works her way over to the near side, has the puck poked away from her. Sent in along the boards by Laro. And we'll head all the way around the boards over to the far side. Allowing Sartell to be able to get there first. Off the boards, chopped along. Ahead for Wyland. Wyland carries it into the zone. Tried to fire a shot. 
partially deflected. Went back behind, almost came out in front, but stepping up on that weak side is going to be Rudnick to be able to knock that one away. Big collision on the far side between Wyland and Parnell. Puck will come back out to the neutral zone, and it'll be sent right back in by Sartell. Puck back to the blue line. Stepaniak backhands it out in front. We picked up by Parnell. Parnell makes a nice move, gets back out through center. Works her way into the offensive zone. Slides it along the boards along the near side. And into the corner it'll go. Parnell pinned up against the boards there. Coming in after is going to be Cromwell. Puck works its way back up the boards now for Linsmeyer. And back down the length of the ice it'll go. Into the northern tier zone. That'll be icing on the Storm. The storm and Sabres, I should say. A lot of co-ops around our local area. And some of them... Stick with one name. Some of them, like Northern Tier, go with many, as well as Sartell, Sark Rapids. Sartell has a school. Sark Rapids has a school. Sark Rapids is the Storm. Sartell, the Sabres, so they are the Storm and Sabres. Buck back to the blue line along that far side. Kept in along that far board by Bussy. Plays it along the back side over to the corner. And now it'll come all the way through center and back into the northern tier zone. Bussy will work her way back behind her own net and plays it back out front now for Seibel. Seibel, long lead pass, trying to be able to connect with Kozak, but the pass too long for her. That'll be icing. No score, still 5.50 to go here, period number two. Here from East Bethel. Puck back to the blue line. That's going to be sent in just wide of the net from Cromwell. Over to the near side into the corner. Trying to take a shot is Lundin, but it slipped off of her stick. Fanned on it. Lead pass, trying to be able to get it ahead for Kurkowski is deflected away. Seibel will come away with it. Seibel works into the zone. Deflected high up over the top of the net. Over the top of Gore. Back behind, Wenzel comes away with it for the Sabres. Back out to the neutral zone. Wenzel still has control of the puck, somehow able to carry it all the way through, trying to get it into the zone, be able to work with Lamel. Back to the point on the near side. It'll be taken away instead by the Stars and sent back down the length of the ice by Miller. Puck deep into the zone. Doran out to be able to play it. Puck back along this near side. It'll go back behind the net, Wenzel. Plays it back to the blue line. And now a two-on-one opportunity for Vandenberg. Vandenberg works away on the far side. Nice play defensively by Bussey to be able to knock that one away. Bouncing puck will come back to the neutral zone now for Vandenberg. Vandenberg will work her way into the zone. Dumps that one in. Back behind on this near side. And wraps around the boards back underneath. Back out to the neutral zone. Picked up there and sent in by Wineland. Going to be knocked down by Gibb, and she'll just cover that one. 4.51 to play, period number two. Puck over to the far side. Johnson plays it back underneath for the Sabres. Wyland trying to be able to dig that one out of the corner. Kicks that one along, trying to get something set up. She does have career out in the doorstep, but can't quite connect with her. Puck over to the far side and taken away, and now career fires a shot. Glove save made by Gibb. Gibb tracked that one. Good setup and a good shot and a good decision, really, by career to go weak side on that one. But a nice save made on the play. Four twenty-seven to play. Period number two. Turnaround shot sent in by Busan Jarama, and picked up and brought back now by the Stars. Kozak on the left wing works her way into the zone. Puck back behind Spitzer. Will play it across. Lindsmeyer takes away from her. Lindmeyer back behind. Lindmeyer spins away from one. Centering feed 
as it was taken away by Hari. Came all the way through. There was nobody out on the doorstep. Puck heads back deep into the zone as the Stars were offsides. Back it'll come to Mount Career. Over to the near side. Kept in by Hari. Out in front. And smothered by Dorn. We'll get a draw in the offensive zone. 3.43 to play period number two. Face off on the near side left of the netminder Dorn. Quick shot off the draw. Sent right in by Abby Spitzer. The draw came back to her. It worked essentially as a one-timer. She hammered that one out in front. Another shot comes up from up top. That one sent through by Bussy. Comes all the way through the zone. It'll head down the length of the ice. Now we got a delayed call coming on Sartell Sock Rapids. It's going to put the Stars back on the power play once again. Delayed call. Extra attacker just gets on the ice as it's touched up by the Sabres. And we're going to get a penalty on a hook. Just our second penalty of the game. We had a slashing penalty as well as offsetting majors for contact to the head earlier. Stars unable to really get much of anything going on the power play. 321 to play period number two. Draw on the far side. Comes back to the point. Kept in there by Seibel. Seibel will work the line and get things set up. Over to the far side now. Kurkowski tried to play it back for Seibel, but it's going to come back out to the neutral zone. And it now comes for Kurkowski into the zone. Kurkowski in on the left wing. Works her way back underneath. Trying to figure out a way to be able to get it out front. Tried to play it over to the near side. Intended for Miller, but deflected. Tipped out in front, tipped on the doorstep, and Doran able to track down one. Neubauer had that on the doorstep. Got a piece of that one, and a great save by Doran. Puck comes all the way down the length of the ice. Four checking in, Lamel able to pin that one against the board, trying to be able to wear off a little bit more this time. Minute 15 to go in the power play. Two and a half to play in the period. Lead pass comes ahead for Miller. Miller crosses the line into the zone. It's going to be taken away and sent ahead by Wenzel. Wenzel back down into the star zone. Back after it to play. It'll be Seibel. Seibel back out through to the neutral zone. Parnell works her way in on the left wing. Puck sits up against the boards as Northern Tier gets caught changing. They only had two players on the ice and none of them wanted to play it. And it ends up being a turnover and a goal now. Wenzel thought, or Wyland thought that she had it. And so everybody kind of stopped. The officials are going to discuss it a little bit just to make sure, but it looked like it was a goal by Wyland. And so Gibb and everybody basically stopped playing. The officials said it was no goal. And so it'll be a shorthanded goal. So the puck went over right basically at the door of where Northern Tier makes a change. And Northern Tier not wanting to get... So Johnson from Wheeland... Who's a drama also on the... Assist on that one. So it'll be a goal by Johnson. And kind of a crazy play as, as I mentioned, it, it sat up against the boards. And in an attempt to not play it, to get the too many skaters on the ice penalty. Three players stepped over the top of the puck and went off the ice, leaving Northern Tier with only two players on the ice. We're back to even strength and now down under a minute to play in the period. And with only two players on the ice, it was an easy breakaway opportunity for Wyland going the other direction. 
Resulting ultimately in the goal by Johnson, but Wyland thought that she had it initially. Back to the point on the far side. Johnson fires a shot, deflected to the corner. Blocker save made on the play by Gibb up against the boards on the near side. 20 seconds remaining in the period. Down to 10 seconds now. Finally, the puck comes free. Backhanded out in front by Lamel. It'll go over to the far corner. Deflected by Gibb on the way through. And it'll be cleared out down the length of the ice by Northern Tier. They'll go ahead and let that one drift all the way down the length of the ice for the remainder of the period instead of calling an icing. One to nothing is the score in favor of Sartell Sock Rapids. Storm and Sabres here in Bethel. We'll be back here for the third and final period when we return on WCMP Online. If you've been injured in an auto accident or have sustained other personal injury, you don't have to leave town to get good representation. Spear and Swanson Attorneys at Law in Pine City are experienced and will work on your case with no fee until they get you money. They also handle divorce and custody cases, criminal defense including DWI and other legal matters. Spear and Swanson is your local law firm that cares about you. So if you need legal representation or advice, call 320-629-7586. Spear and Swanson, Attorneys at Law in Pine City. It takes a team effort to ensure a successful future. That's why Town & Country Insurance and Hinkley, Finlayson & Mora, your local Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, and Grinnell Mutual are celebrating the accomplishments of our student athletes across every sport. We recognize the dedication it takes to work and play hard. Your display of teamwork makes it easy to trust in tomorrow. Wellia trust Health in tomorrow offers sports medicine services at all Grinnell our campuses in Mora, Pine City, and Hinkley. Dr. Mullen and his team treat a full range of sports injuries for all athletes at any level of competition. If you are injured, we want to help you return to the game as quickly and as safely as possible, providing the sports medicine care you need when you need it to help you live life well with Wellia Health. Call 320 320- Six, seven, nine. This is a story one, we three, all share one, three, of a place zero, rooted nine. in tradition and rich with opportunity, a people driven by compassion and vision. At Essentia Health, we're proud to play our role in this story because we know that this place, these people, are like nowhere else. Visit Essentia Health in Hinkley, Sandstone, or our new location in Moose Lake for all your care needs. Schedule an appointment at EssentiaHealth.org today. Daggett's Fresh Foods in Hinkley providing you with the highest quality food for your family. This week at Daggett's, get Hormel all-natural pork butts for $1.59 per pound. Honey crisp apples are just $1.79 per pound. Daggett's own fresh baked Italian bread is two for $3 and best choice mac and cheese is three for a dollar. Deals are good this week only while supplies last. So hurry into your local grocery store, Daggett's Fresh Foods in Hinkley. The new year is here. It's the perfect time to trade out the old and bring in the new. That's the new furnace to keep you cozy warm for the rest of winter and for years to come. Aquarius Home Services, your local heating expert, is here to help with a fantastic New Year special. How does a new furnace for as low as $45 per month sell? That's right, as little as $45 per month. To hey, I'm Chad Greenway. When estimate, I was playing, I loved chasing down running backs. Well, you shouldn't have to chase your bank around when you're buying a home. Franz and Bank and Trust Mortgage Consultants will be with you stride for stride, like a linebacker on a running back, from pre-approval to closing and beyond. Let Franz and Bank guide you through the mortgage process. Learn more at franzandbank.com slash get there. Chad Greenway here. Franz mortgage and bank rates and haven't been this low since real 2017. People, real Time real to talk to your local Franz and Bank about buying your first home, a cabin, or an investment property, building your dream home, refinancing to lower your mortgage payment, or for a home improvement project. Franz and Bank will be with you every step of the way. Find your local Franz and Bank mortgage expert today at franzandbank.com. M Health Therapy brings world class care Greenway to North Center. Branch. You'll have Franz access to the latest groundbreaking research discoveries combined with convenient care close to home. In North Branch, their dedicated care team specializes in family medicine, diabetes education, and physical therapy. Most of the staff and providers from the Pine City Clinic are now available in North Branch. To schedule an appointment, call 1 855 Minnesota. It's home. Hot summers at the lake, beautiful falls, snowy winter. 
winters and rainy springs, we experience it all. Make sure you're ready to handle whatever this state throws at you with help from Minnesota Equipment in Isani. Minnesota Equipment carries brands you love, like John Deere, Steel, Toro, Gravely Zero Turn Mowers, and Aaron Snowblowers. Their helpful staff can not only get you the equipment you need, but can help you maintain it so it will last. Plus, they carry a full line of farm equipment. Minnesota Equipment and Isani, online at minnesotaequipment.com. Are you interested in a technical degree that can quickly help you land your dream career? Or maybe you've always dreamed of going to a four-year college, but you'd like to start close to home. Either way, Pine Technical and Community College has you covered. PTCC offers more than 50 degrees in hot fields like healthcare information technology, advanced manufacturing, and business. PTCC is now accepting applications. Financial aid may be available. Online at pine.edu. Starting out or starting over, find your future at Pine Technical and Community College. If you've been injured in an auto accident or have sustained other personal injury, you don't have to leave town to get good representation. Spear and Swanson Attorneys at Law in Pine City are experienced and will work on your case with no fee until they get you money. They also handle divorce and custody cases, criminal defense, including DWI and other legal matters. Spear and Swanson is your local law firm that cares about you. So if you need legal representation or advice, call 320-629-7586. Spear and Swanson, Attorneys at Law in Pine City. It takes a team effort to ensure a successful future. That's why Town & Country Insurance and Hinkley, Finlayson & Mora, your local Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, and Grinnell Mutual are celebrating the accomplishments of our student-athletes across every sport. We recognize the dedication it takes to work and play hard. Your display of teamwork makes it easy to trust in tomorrow. Wellia trust Health in tomorrow offers sports is a medicine services at all our campuses in Mora, Pine City, and Hinkley. Dr. Mullen and his team treat a full range of sports injuries for all athletes at any level of competition. If you are injured, we want to help you return to the game as quickly and as safely as possible, providing the sports medicine care you need when you need it to help you live life well with Wellia Health. Call 320-679-1313. This is a story we all share of a place rooted in tradition and rich with opportunity, a people driven by compassion and vision. At Essentia Health, we're proud to play our role in this story because we know that this place, these people are like nowhere else. Visit Essentia Health in Hinkley, Sandstone, or our new location in Moose Lake for all your care needs. Schedule an appointment at EssentiaHealth.org today. Daggett's Fresh Foods in Hinkley, providing you with the highest quality food for your family. This week at Daggett's, get Hormel all-natural pork butts for $1.59 per pound. Honey crisp apples are just $1.79 per pound. Daggett's own fresh baked Italian bread is two for $3, and best choice mac and cheese is three for a dollar. Deals are good this week only while supplies last. So hurry into your local grocery store, Daggett's Fresh Foods in Hinkley. The new year is here. It's the perfect time to trade out the old and bring in the new. That's the new furnace to keep you cozy warm for the rest of winter and for years to come. Aquarius Home Services, your local heating expert, is here to help with a fantastic New Year special. How does a new furnace for as low as $45 per month sell? That's right, as little as $45 per month. Hey, I'm Chad Greenway. When I was playing, I loved chasing down running backs. But you shouldn't have to chase your bank around when you're buying a home. Franz and Bank and Trust Mortgage Consultants will be with you stride for stride, like a linebacker on a running back, from pre-approval to closing and beyond. Let Franz and Bank guide you through the mortgage process. Learn more at franzandbank.com slash get Chad Greenway here. Franz mortgage and bank rates haven't been this low since 2017. Real people, real Time to talk to your local Franz and Bank about buying your first home, a cabin, or an investment property, building your dream home, refinancing to lower your mortgage payment, or for a home improvement project. Franz and Bank will be with you every step of the way. Find your local Franz and Bank mortgage expert today at franzandbank.com. M Health Therapy brings world class care Greenway to North Sanchez. Branch. You'll have Franz access to the latest groundbreaking research discoveries combined with convenient care close to home. In North Branch, their dedicated care team specializes in family medicine, diabetes education, and physical therapy. Most of the staff and providers from the Pine City Clinic are now available in North Branch. To schedule an appointment, call 1 855 Fairview or use MyChart. Urgent care is also available Monday through Friday from noon. Until eight and Minnesota. Nine till it's home. Hot summers at the lake, beautiful falls, snowy winters, and rainy springs. We experience it all. Make sure you're ready to handle whatever.
whatever this state throws at you with help from Minnesota Equipment in Isani. Minnesota Equipment carries brands you love, like John Deere, Steel, Toro, Gravely Zero Turn Mowers, and Aaron Snowblowers. Their helpful staff can not only get you the equipment you need, but can help you maintain it so it will last. Plus, they carry a full line of farm equipment. Minnesota Equipment in Isani, online at minnesotaequipment.com. Are you interested in a technical degree that can quickly help you land your dream career? Or maybe you've always dreamed of going to a four-year college, but you'd like to start close to home. Either way, Pine Technical and Community College has you covered. PTCC offers more than 50 degrees in hot fields like healthcare information technology, advanced manufacturing, and business. PTCC is now accepting applications. Financial aid may be available. Online at pine.edu. Starting out or starting over, find your future at Pine Technical and Community College. If you've been injured in an auto accident or have sustained other personal injury, you don't have to leave town to get good representation. Spear and Swanson Attorneys at Law in Pine City are experienced and will work on your case with no fee until they get you money. They also handle divorce and custody cases, criminal defense, including DWI and other legal matters. Spear and Swanson is your local law firm that cares about you. So if you need legal representation or advice, call 320-629-7586. Spear and Swanson, Attorneys at Law in Pine City. It takes a team effort to ensure a successful future. That's why Town & Country Insurance and Hinkley, Finlayson and & Mora, your local Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, and Grinnell Mutual are celebrating the accomplishments of our student-athletes across every sport. We recognize the dedication it takes to work and play hard. Your display of teamwork makes it easy to trust in tomorrow. Wellia trust Health in tomorrow offers sports medicine services at all our campuses in Mora, Pine City, and Hinkley. Dr. Mullen and his team treat a full range of sports injuries for all athletes at any level of competition. If you are injured, we want to help you return to the game as quickly and as safely as possible, providing the sports medicine care you need when you need it to help you live life well with Wellia Health. Call 320-679-1313. This is a story we all share of a place rooted in tradition and rich with opportunity, a people driven by compassion and vision. At Essentia Health, we're proud to play our role in this story because we know that this place, these people are like nowhere else. Visit Essentia Health in Hinkley, Sandstone, or our new location in Moose Lake for all your care needs. Schedule an appointment at EssentiaHealth.org today. Daggett's Fresh Foods in Hinkley, providing you with the highest quality food for your family. This week at Daggett's, get Hormel all-natural pork butts for $1.59 per pound. Honey crisp apples are just $1.79 per pound. Daggett's own fresh baked Italian bread is two for $3, and best choice mac and cheese is three for a dollar. Deals are good this week only while supplies last. So hurry into your local grocery store, Daggett's Fresh Foods in Hinkley. The new year is here. It's the perfect time to trade out the old and bring in the new. That's the new furnace to keep you cozy warm for the rest of winter and for years to come. Aquarius Home Services, your local heating expert, is here to help with a fantastic New Year special. How does a new furnace for as low as $45 per month sound? That's right, as little as $45 per month. Hey, I'm Chad Greenway. When I was playing, I loved chasing down running backs. But you shouldn't have to chase your bank around when you're buying a home. Brands and Bank and Trust Mortgage Consultants will be with you stride for stride, like a linebacker on a running back, from pre-approval to closing and beyond. Let Franz and Bank guide you through the mortgage process. Learn more at franzandbank.com slash get Chad them. Greenway here. Franz mortgage rates haven't been this low since 2017. Real people, real Time to talk to your local Franz and Bank about buying your first home, a cabin, or an investment property, building your dream home, refinancing to lower your mortgage payment, or for a home improvement project. Franz and Bank will be with you every step of the way. Find your local Franz and Bank mortgage expert today at franzandbank.com. And the health therapy brings there. world class Tell care to North Branch. You'll have Franz access to the latest groundbreaking research discoveries combined with convenient care close to home. In North Branch, their dedicated care team specializes in family medicine, diabetes education, and physical therapy. Most of the staff and providers from the Pine City Clinic are now available in North Branch. To schedule an appointment, call 1 855 Minnesota. It's home. Hot summers at the lake, beautiful falls, snowy winters. 
winters and rainy springs, we experience it all. Make sure you're ready to handle whatever this state throws at you with help from Minnesota Equipment in Isani. Minnesota Equipment carries brands you love, like John Deere, Steel, Toro, Gravely Zero Turn Mowers, and Aaron Snowblowers. Their helpful staff can not only get you the equipment you need, but can help you maintain it so it will last. Plus, they carry a full line of farm equipment. Minnesota Equipment and Isani, online at minnesotaequipment.com. Are you interested in a technical degree that can quickly help you land your dream career? Or maybe you've always dreamed of going to a four-year college, but you'd like to start close to home. Either way, Pine Technical and Community College has you covered. PTCC offers more than 50 degrees in hot fields like healthcare information technology, advanced manufacturing, and business. PTCC is now accepting applications. Financial aid may be available. Online at pine.edu. Starting out or starting over, find your future at Pine Technical and Community College. If you've been injured in an auto accident or have sustained other personal injury, you don't have to leave town to get good representation. Spear and Swanson Attorneys at Law in Pine City are experienced and will work on your case with no fee until they get you money. They also handle divorce and custody cases, criminal defense, including DWI and other legal matters. Spear and Swanson is your local law firm that cares about you. So if you need legal representation or advice, call 320-629-7586. Spear and Swanson, Attorneys at Law in Pine City. WCMP online, Andy Beckstrom on hand here in East Bethel. East Bethel Ice Arena, site of tonight's matchup between the Northern Tier Stars and the Sartell Sock Rapids Storm and Sabres. Girls hockey in the afternoon here on WCMP. One to nothing is the score in favor of the Storm and Sabres. Storm and Sabres made up of Sock Rapids and Sartell, two squads there. The Northern Tier Stars made up of Cambridge A. Sandy, St. Francis, and North Branch. On the other side, Vikings, Saints, and Blue Jackets. Both teams are back out onto the ice. We're just about set to go for the third and final period of action. 17 minutes up on the clock. Both netminders near respective ends. We are about set to go. Back out at center ice. Puck is down and we are underway here in the third period. Puck will head back for the Northern Stars and they're gonna try to get something going offensively. They've had a couple of opportunities but they haven't been able to really focus much on the offensive end. Sabell sends that one in all the way over to the corner on the near side. Back to the blue line, it's going to be kept in by Bussy. Back behind, chasing after it, Kozak. Back behind, it'll go. It'll be picked up there by Cromwell and brought out by Sartell Sock Rapids. Bouncing puck high in the air, kept in momentarily, but it'll come out now with Vandenberg. Crosses the line on the offensive end and gets set up near side in the corner. Puck will come across over the far side. Wenzel dropped that one off. Shot came through, save made by Gibb, puck back behind, and it'll come out now for the Stars. Back through center over to the far side, setting it up. Leading it ahead now for Hari. It'll head down the length of the ice, so waved off any type of icing. And we'll play on. Okay, behind Cromwell, works it way over to the near side. Flipped up over to the near side, and coming back with it now is going to be Wangland. Wangland was in on the assist on what she thought was a goal. I actually thought it was a goal as well. She backhanded and hit both posts behind Gibb and never really fully crossed that line. About as much bouncing around as you could be able to have without it actually going in. And ultimately the puck sat on the doorstep and was jammed in on the backside by Erica Johnson. Our lone goal so far in the second period of play. Puck will come back out through center. Spitzer works her way in on the left wing. Puck back behind. Playing it out. Trying to get it back for Kurkowski. Kurkowski will carry it underneath. Taken away from her by Busajurama. That shot chopped at on the far side by Miller. Goes wide in the net over for Johnson. Near side in the corner. So play another for Sabart. 
Career lost it for a moment. Now Johnson will play it over to the near side. They'll come back out to center. Grant will pick it up, dump it into the zone. Stars were offsides. They had to come back and check up quick. Allows the Stabers to be able to come away with it. Bouncing puck on the far side as it was a turnover from Herdina. Centering feet out in front and once a backdoor feed and Laro had it on the back door wide open but just could not bury it. Fanned on the one time attempt. That was a great opportunity there for the Stars to be able to tie things up. Puck back up top now. Neubauer fired a shot, deflected high in the air, came back to the blue line, kept in. Rudina is gonna get it out of the zone now on the far side of the ice. Chopped along and it'll come back now for the Sabres working their way back through center. Going to be carried in on this near side by Lundin. All the way to the near side into the corner. Loses it there. It'll be picked up and brought back by Grant. Grant over to the far side. Knocked away from her momentarily by Parnell. Parnell digging that one out on the far side. Rudnick will come away with it, trying to get it out of the zone. And ahead will come for Parnell. Chopped along in the neutral zone and sent ahead by Neubauer down the length of the ice. Neubauer tried to chase in after, but she's in one on three. Loses the puck. It'll be backhanded in by Kozak. But the Stars in offsides and allowing the Sabres to be able to pick it up. They get it back through center and it'll be picked up there by Seibel. Seibel fires that one in. It's going to be held onto by Dorn. And she smothers that one. Well, four minutes gone by here in period number three, 13.09. To go period number three. Face off far side left of Dorn. Draw one back, chopped along the boards by Kozak. We'll come all the way over to the near side and Vandenberg will try to get it back out of the zone for the Sabres. Plays it up ahead now for Wenzel, played back for Dorn, or for uh, Vandenberg rather. Vanderberg ahead on the far side of the ice. Bodies flying everywhere momentarily as Puck comes away with Lamel. Lamel gets into the zone on the far side. She's got it in the corner. Trying to be able to turn and get it out front. Wenzel was there for a moment, but then skated to the corner to try to help. Puck comes free over to the near side, into the corner. Back out in the high slot it'll go. Into the circle goes for Lamel. Trying to set up a backhand shot, but deflected away from her back behind. Back to the point on the far side. And it'll come away now with Hari. Hari plays it ahead for Kozak. Went off of her stick. And Sabres will pick it up. Along this near side, Wyland trying to be able to get out of the zone. Stars pinch in after it, play it back underneath. Kurkowski on this near side with Spitzer, trying to be able to dig that one out. Kurkowski. Able to get it away momentarily. Bussy tried to pinch up on it. And instead now it's going to be a two-on-one, almost a two-on-none opportunity. Centering feed deflected over the top on a save made by Megan Gibb. It was a beautiful feed out in front for Carrere, but her deflection got tipped over the top of the net. And another one came out in front as Gibb had her stick up against the side of the cage, but it ended up deflecting off of her, went right out onto the doorstep. But Gibb able to make the blocker save and deflected high enough on a back behind. Another shot comes through from Wyland. Save made again. Puck on the far side and back it'll come for the Stars. Giving works her way in on the right wing. Plays it back behind. She's in one on five as the Stars were changing back behind. Puck back to the point. Stepping up on it is going to be Giving. Trying to be able to maintain the zone for the Stars. Come away with it will be Sapaniak. Puck over to the far side, off the window high, and back down the length of the ice. That'll be icing. Wave that one down and come the length of the ice. 10.51 to play here in the third period of action between the Northern Tier Stars playing host to the Sartell Sock Rapids Storm and Sabres. Puck back to the blue line, and it's going to be kicked down the length of the ice. And Lindmeyer had it go off of her shin pads on a shot. She tracks it down at the other end of the ice, but wow, there's maybe going to be a power play opportunity. That shot comes all the way through, and it's going to be held on to by Gibb. Takes an extra shot as she catches that one. Ten and a half to play.
Pine City girls hockey later on tonight playing host to Chisago Lakes in an extremely tough matchup. Not only Chisago Lakes winning that matchup earlier this year, eight to nothing, but they're the number four team in state according to the QRF. Kozak ended up getting checked into the boards, had the stick stuck in her and threw that one away, threw it off of her. And it's going to be a penalty on an interference. Kozak's going to go to the box for a couple of minutes on an interference call. And so it'll be the first opportunity on the power play now for the Storm and Sabres. Up top for Cromwell. Cromwell plays it over to the far side. Now over to the near side. Set for Lamel. Lamel up top for Cromwell. Plays it over to the far side now for Wenzel. Wenzel back underneath. Gets it right back. Up top for Cromwell. Cromwell high slot. Steps up into the circle, fired a shot, and it's going to be knocked away by Hari. She was able to knock it down with her skates. Puck on the far side, trying to work back with it is Lundin. Off for Wenzel. Wenzel makes a move and is able to gain the zone. Wenzel over to the near side, into the corner on the right wing. She'll play it back, get it right back underneath for Wenzel. Wenzel back behind, trying to be able to center it. He's going to play it on the far side instead for Vandenberg. Up top it'll go. Now for Cromwell, back for Vandenberg. Vandenberg and Cromwell cross over to the near side. Stepping up is going to be Lamel. Up top for Vandenberg and deflected away. Cybele will pick it up and get it back out now for the Stars. Working back shorthanded. Played it along the far side. Try to get it ahead for Parnell. Cybele pins it up against the boards. Back behind, 48 seconds remaining in the power play. And back it'll come now for Vandenberg. Vandenberg in on the left wing. Works her way into the zone. Going to be knocked away by Rudnick and cleared back out to the neutral zone. Played momentarily by Rudnick and that'll be the whistle for an offsides. The puck went into the zone early and she was back in the neutral zone, tried to play it back to be able to gain possession of it, but it'll be a face off and a draw one back by Northern Tier. They send it down the length of the ice. Back into the other end in the Sock Rapids Sartell Sabre zone. Back through center island. Cross ice over to the far side for Johnson. Johnson gains the zone. Works away along the far side. Taken away by the Stars. Sent down the length of the ice. And with six seconds remaining to go in the power play. That'll be the end of the power play. And now we get a whistle on this near side on a cross. I think that's going to be on Sartell Sock Rapids. It is. It's going to be on number 17, Taylor Sapaniak. She'll head of the box now, two minutes on a cross. 8.17 to play. 1-0 is the lead for the Storm and Sabres. Opportunity now for the Stars. This will be their third opportunity on the power play. They're over two. This is probably their best opportunity right now to be able to get on the board and be able to tie this game. Puck will come back out through the neutral zone. Back after it will be Cybele. Cybele, long lead pass over to the near side, and Parnell's going to chase it back underneath. Parnell, they wave off icing. Parnell back up to the point now for... Cybele, Cybele right into the legs once again. Back of the blue line, it's going to be a breakaway for Wenzel. Wenzel works her way in on Megan Gibb. Back after it, back checking nicely on a play by Hari to be able to knock that one away. It was a breaking away for a moment, but here able to get back and save the day, I guess, for the Northern Lights, or the Northern Tier Stars, I should say. Parnell backhands it underneath for Spitzer. Crosses with Parnell. Parnell works her way in on the near side. Shot out in front. Tipped just wide of the net. On that weak side was Rudnick. Rudnick tries to center over the near side. Shot and a goal and we're tied. Power play goal for Ashton Parnell. Senior for this squad gets the goal. Assisted by Rudnick. Hey, 
That makes it one to one. It's a beautiful feed by Rudnick across the, the mid area. We get our announcement from the public address announcer here at the East Bethel Ice Arena. Puck on the far side, Seibel got it back to the point career. Kept it in momentarily. Spitzer will chop it at it and get it back out to the neutral zone. It'll be knocked away from Wyland and brought back now by the Sabres. Near side into the corner, it'll go. Taken away by the Stars. Tries trying to be able to get it back out ahead. Leading the way was Miller, but they couldn't quite connect to it. Far side, Seibel trying to be able to get out of the zone. That puck sent deep into the zone. A wave off icing. 6.15 to play here. One to one is our score. Wyland back behind her own net. We'll start it out. Wyland back through center as the puck is taken away and a check back out at center. That's going to be a check. It was a collision between Wyland and Gabby Giving. Giving gets up and is going to work off, but works off the ice a little bit slow. So the Stars score on the power play to tie it and now get a power play opportunity right after that. 6.05 to play here in this hockey game. One to one is our score. Northern Tier looking to be able to maybe get another power play goal. Take a lead. Puck played underneath on the far side. He played there by Parnell. Parnell plays it up top, working the slot there. He's gonna be Rudnick and Rudnick buries that one. And we are untied, and the Stars have put two on the board. Parnell on the assist so it was Parnell from Rudnick and then now it's Rudnick from Parnell combining on the go ahead goal to take a two to one lead with five and a half to play Sartell Sock Rapids led for the bulk of this game one to nothing they got a second period goal from Erica Johnson back it'll come now for Wenzel Wenzel fires a shot save made by Gibb knocked to the corner on the far side Kept in by the Sabres. Over to the corner on the far side, Lamel Has it knocked away from her and a long lead pass will be sent down the length of the ice and just wide of the net. It'll be icing. Able to clear the zone. Puck back down the length of the ice into the star's end of the arena. Stars will take it away and it'll be brought back. Swinging it wide on the near side is going to be Kurkowski. Kurkowski works her way into the zone. Tried to drive in after Dorn, but had it knocked away from her. And back it'll come now for Buchejarama. Working into the zone. She's in with Wyland. Loses the puck. And it'll be taken away by Neubauer. Now with four and a half to play. Sarnier and Feed came out in front. It'll be taken away by Bussy and brought back for the Stars. Backhanded into the zone. Sabres pick it up from there. Lundin gets it out of the zone ahead for Wyland. Wyland loses it. Bussy had knocked it away from her. Puck will be sent back underneath. Seibel spins away from one check. Plays it off the boards along the near side. All the way back out to center. Get there, there by Cromwell. Cromwell gets it right back. Tried to play it ahead on the far side. Ends up getting into the hands of Career. Puckle on that far side will be brought in by Laryl. Laryl 
Dumps the puck in deep as the Northern Stars basically, they're trying to work into the offensive zone, but they're mostly just trying to trap and keep the puck through the neutral zone, not allow Sartell to be able to get anything going with it. Pinching up on this near side, Bussy unable to hold the zone as it comes back with Neubauer. Neubauer, correction, that was Vandenberg that brought it back. Shot comes the other direction. Parnell sent that one in, save made and held onto by Dorn. 3.28 to play here in this hockey game. 2-1 is the lead for the Northern Tier Stars. Sit with us after the game. We'll wrap things up, then pack up and head to Pine City. Second half of this doubleheader. Puck over to the far side. It'll be picked up and brought back by Sabart. Over to this near side, kept in by Grady, or by Grant, rather. And now it'll come away with the Stars, or the uh, Sabres, rather. Sent in on the near side by Wyland. All the way back behind over to the far side. Picking it up there is going to be Rudnick. Rudnick and Parnell scoring on the last two goals. Rudnick from Parnell and then Parnell from Rudnick. On back-to-back -back goals, on back-to-back -back power plays. Sabart momentarily is able to hold the zone on the near side, but instead it'll come back out now for Wyland as the Stars able to clear the zone momentarily. Career picks it up. Sets up at the blue line, turns and fires a shot. It's going to be wide of the net. Swinging after it was Wyland, but fanned on it. It was about head high. Puck will come down the length of the ice. No icing of that one. It was going to be on net. 2.25 to play here in the game. In on the left wing. On the far side of the ice, it's going to be Cromwell. Drags that ahead now for Lamel. Puck underneath. Lamel has it knocked away from her. And kept in by Cromwell. Cromwell sends that one back underneath. Lamel back behind. Nobody out in front. He's going to backhand it over the far side for Wenzel. Wenzel has it pinned up against the board, trying to kick it along. Able to get it ahead for Lamel as Wenzel goes flying. Back to the point now for Johnson. Johnson fires a shot. It's deflected high in the air. Wenzel on the far side trying to chop it down to be able to settle that puck down. Up top it'll go. Cromwell over to the far side. Spinning away is going to be... Wenzel got her way into the circle but couldn't get a shot away. Cromwell, far side, is spun off the puck. Down to a minute 35 to go. Dorn worked her way up a little bit but didn't come out. That puck is off the boards. It'll head down the length of the ice. Dorn comes out to play it. He did not have enough momentum for icing. Both teams get a change for the last minute 21. Back through center is Career. They're waving off Dorn. Career fires a shot. Glove save made and held on to. That will be a face-off in the zone, and the extra attacker will be on for Sartell Sock Rapids. 2-1 to one is our score. Minute 13 left to go in the hockey game. Sartell Sock Rapids led for the bulk of this game after a second period goal. Until late in the third period, about six minutes left to go. A goal by... Parnell assisted by Rudnick, and then a power play right after that ends up being a goal by Rudnick assisted by Parnell. And you get the scores at this point. One minute remaining in the hockey game. Extra attacker on. Six on five in the corner on the near side, pinned up against the boards. It'll squirt free over to the far side. Seibel able to get it back to the blue line. Holding the zone is going to be Lundin. Back behind the net. Pinned up against the boards by about four or five different players. Puck comes free on the far side. Wyland trying to be able to get it out front. Wyland in the corner. Knocked away from her by Parnell. Down to 30 seconds remaining. Puck will come free now with Busajarama. Back to the point up top. Shot by Lundin. Deflected by a lot of traffic. Johnson on the near side fires a shot. Bouncing puck comes out in front. And it'll be covered by Gibb. 20 seconds remain in the period. Sabres throwing everything they can at trying to be able to get a shot away and that's one of their only shots they've been able to get now with the extra attacker on. And now a timeout will be called by Sartell. Timeout on the ice. We'll return here to East Bethel on WCMP. It takes a team effort to ensure a successful future. That's why Town & Country Insurance and Hinkley, Finlayson, and Mora 
your local Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, and Grinnell Mutual are celebrating the accomplishments of our student athletes across every sport. We recognize the dedication it takes to work and play hard. Your display of teamwork makes it easy to trust in tomorrow. Wellia trust Health in tomorrow offers sports is a medicine services at Grinnell all our Mutual campuses in Mora, Pine City, and Hinkley. Dr. Mullen and his team treat a full range of sports injuries for all athletes at any level of competition. If you are injured, we want to help you return to the game as quickly and as safely as possible, providing the sports medicine care you need when you need it to help you live life well with Wellia Health. Call 320-679-679. 1313 to schedule for any location. WCMP Online, Andy Beckstrom on hand here in East Bethel for the final 20 seconds of this game. 2-1 to one is the lead for the Northern Tier Stars. Sartell, Sock Rapids, Storm and Sabres got the empty net at the other end. And a faceoff in the offensive zone. The extra attacker on for the Sabres. Big draw on this near side left of goaltender Megan Gibb. Partel, Parnell wins the draw back, pinned up against the back boards. Sabres desperately trying to dig that one out. Wyland digs that one out, trying to center it out in front. Gibb able to cover back and forth. It's still back behind. Wyland, Wenzel on the far side, gets it back out in front. Cromwell steps up, fires a shot. Save made and knocked to the corner. Two, one, one more shot and it's gonna be blocked. Out in front by Rudnick, and that'll be your final score. Two to one as the Northern Tier Stars win it over the top of the Sartell, Sock Rapids, Storm and Sabres. Wrapping up things here for the hockey game. Our first goal of the game was Erica Johnson. On the goal, assisted by... Kelly Carrere and Ingrid Busajarama. That in the second period held up for the bulk of the game. Now with about six and a half to go, a power play put the Stars on the advantage. They were 0 for 2 at that point in time, but they get a goal. Ashton Parnell from Sam Rudnick made it 1 to 1 at that point in time. About 30 seconds later, another penalty was taken and it put them back on the power play. And that made it two to one as Rudnick from Ashton Parnell on that one made it two to one, and that is our final score of the game. I want to thank all of our sponsors for jumping on board for today's game. I want to thank everybody for jumping on board all season long. I want to thank you for checking out the game on WCMP online. With the loss, the Sartelsock Rapids Storm and Sabres dropped to four and eleven and two on the year. 2-6-2. They have now lost 10 of their last 11. Their next matchup will be in the postseason. Northern Tier improves to 11-7 on the year. 6-2 in conference play. They have now won 4 of 7, or 4 of 6 rather. And their next matchup will be also in the postseason. That'll wrap things up here from the East Bethel Ice Arena. Until next time, have a good night everybody.